Alleluia. Christ is risen. Good morning and welcome to the Church of the Nativity on April 14th, on the third Sunday of Easter. For the next 10 minutes, our organist will offer prelude music for us, and then the service will begin. Everything you'll need to participate in today's service, you'll find in the order of service booklet. There's a link to it in the description for those joining via the video stream. Welcome. It's good to be able to worship together.
As we gather, we do so physically on traditional territory, long tended and treasured by peoples of First Nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Neutrals, the Anishinaabe, and the Haudenosaunee. These lands were shared under the dish with one spoon wampum, a treaty reminding us to live in peace with justice. May we always strive to live up to our responsibilities as members of this treaty. Our opening hymn is number 224, Awake, Arise, Lift Up Your Voice. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. May Christ's grace and peace be with you. May Christ fill our hearts with joy. It is God who gathers us on this slightly damp Easter morning to lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving. All are welcome in all that we do. Let us pray. Author of life, wounded God, disabled and divine, give us faith to perceive you pierced and embodied, standing here among us, feeding us forgiveness beautifully broken. Through Christ, the suffering servant, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people. You Israelites, why do you wonder at this or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one and asked to have a murderer given to you. And you killed the author of life, 
whom God raised from the dead. To this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, his name itself has made this man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that is through Jesus has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers. In this way, God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, that his Messiah would suffer. Repent, therefore, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out. Listen for the leading of the Spirit. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Answer me when I call, O God, for you are the God of justice. You set me free when I was hard pressed. Be gracious to me now and hear my prayers. Men and women, how long will you turn my glory to my shame? How long will you love what is worthless and run after lies? Know that God has shown me such wonderful kindness. Tremble, admit defeat, and sin no more. Look deep into your heart before you sleep, and be still. Bring your gifts just as you are, and put your trust in God. Many are asking, who can make us content? The light of your countenance has gone from us, O God, yet you have given my heart more gladness than those whose corn and wine and oil increase. Reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are Christ's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, We will be like him, for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Listen for the leading of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus himself stood among the disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified as, and thought they had seen a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I, myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh 
and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were still disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, these are the words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Let us confess the faith of our baptism. As we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of good news. Together we pray, God of grace, hear our prayer. O God, our Holy One, you feed our deepest hungers as we share the holy meal that is the body and blood of Jesus given for us. Lead us to share all that we have and find in generosity abundant life. God of grace, hear our prayer. O God, our creator, you bring forth all life on earth. Calm storms, bring water to parched places and protect the climate that this planet would sustain life in all its variety. God of grace, hear our prayer. O God, our savior, you offer wisdom and guidance beyond all human knowledge. Instruct lawmakers, judges, and elected officials to make decisions grounded in your justice and care for all people. God of grace, hear our prayer. 
O oh God, our elder, you care for all your children. Encourage those who are in times of transition, facing the loss of old ways and routines and anticipating change. Guide those who journey in grief, hope, and uncertainty. We name before you those in need of healing who rise in our hearts. God of grace, hear our prayer. O oh God, our center, you bring all people together in you. Help us to remember our identity and purpose in our ministry and prosper the growing older adults, adult ministries of the Nativity. Move us to love our neighbors as ourselves and to share in beloved community. Smile on those in our cycles of prayer, remembering the people of Aotearoa, New Zealand, and Polynesia, and Doug, Valerie, and Frida. We pray for Darla to be confirmed this afternoon. God of grace, O oh God, our nurturer, forgive us all the ways we have fallen short of loving you and our fellow humans as you love us. Pardon us and mend us to walk in your ways. God of grace, hear our prayer. O oh God, our resting place, your son Jesus promised that we are held in your love forever. We remember our beloved who have died. As we remember and share their love, comfort those who mourn. God of grace, hear our prayer. Into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love. Through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. Amen. Amen. we prepare the table and ourselves to join in singing hymn number 210, Yours Be the Glory, Risen, Conquering Sign.
risen one, you call us to believe and bear fruit. May the gifts that we offer here be signs of your abiding love. Form us to be your witnesses in the world, through Jesus Christ, our true vine. Amen. May God be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places Give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal <coughs> Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so, with Mary Magdalene and Peter, and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all her creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, O Hosanna in the highest, O Hosanna. O God most mighty, O God most merciful, O God our rock and our salvation, hear us as we praise your holy name. Call us to your table, grant us your life. When the world was a formless void, you formed order and beauty. When Abraham and Sarah were barren, you sent them a child. When the Israelites were enslaved, you led them to freedom. Ruth faced starvation. David fought Goliath. The psalmists cried out for healing. And full of compassion, you granted the people your life. You entered our sorrows in Jesus, our brother. He was born among those living in poverty. He lived under oppression. He wept over the city. With infinite love, he granted the people your life. On the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering his death, we cry out, Amen. Amen. Celebrating his resurrection, we shout, Amen. Amen. Trusting his presence in every time and place, we plead, Amen. Amen. 
O oh God, you are bread. Send your spirit on this meal. O oh God, you are bread. Feed us with yourself. O oh God, you are wine. Warm our hearts and make us one. O oh God, you are fire. Transform us with hope. O oh God, most majestic. O oh God, most motherly. O oh God, our strength and our song. You show us a vision of a tree of life with fruits for all and leaves that heal the nations. Grant us such life, the life of the Father to the Son, the life of the Spirit of our risen Savior, life in you now and forever. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus teaches us in the language and version of our comfort. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share in your resurrection. Live in us we may live in you. The risen Christ is made known to us in the breaking of the bread. Come and eat at God's table. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Shepherding God, you have prepared a table before us and nourished us with your love. Send us forth from this banquet to proclaim your goodness and share the abundant mercy of Jesus, our Redeemer and friend. Amen. Generous God, you have fed us at your heavenly table. Kindle us with the fire of your spirit, that when the Lord comes again, we may shine as lights before him, who is alive and reigns in glory forever. Amen. There are a bunch of uh, neat things happening over the next little while. For example, this coming Friday, I know you'll want to come out and enjoy the community lunch and bring some friends or neighbors or co-workers or Hi, I'm interrupting a bit. Uh, sorry, I wanted to get in before the announcements. So as I was uh, setting up for the confirmation this afternoon, uh, for the last two days at the cathedral, I've actually made it very more comfortable for folks. And my 12-year-old daughter, uh, while we were decorating the hall yesterday, felt that there was more tables and chairs involved, and she would like all of her church family invited to the reception. So if you have some time, I don't be a long Salad and celebrate our confirmation. 
and be glad.